But when I arrived in Hong Kong, it had just, um, they had just gotten rid of the duty on wine. And so it was, the wine market was exploding. Stu and I started working for Deborah Myberg, who was one of the first masters of wine in Asia. And she really encouraged me to pursue the academic interests that I had in wine. I've always been kind of a geek. And um, the idea of there being this academic qualification out there related to my industry that I didn't have was um, completely unthinkable, so I need to go after it. It's not strictly speaking an academic qualification. It's more like membership in a guild that requires a lot of um, academic rigor and activity and um, examinations to enter. When Hong Kong first opened itself up and tried to become the wine hub of Asia, it really was almost exclusively focused on fine wine and almost exclusively Bordeaux. Um, today there's just much more diversity. It's still driven primarily by collecting, um, but the rest of the market has filled in considerably. I think there is a younger group of people who are more interested in collecting and they've really driven the move towards Burgundy and even you know, really exotic collectibles like um, Napa Valley, um, Australia, um, Italy, so that being Piemonte and Tuscany. Um, so it's been exciting for me to watch. Even Spain is finally getting its due.